On the surface, the blocky periscope protrudes a metre or so up out of the freezing ground, not far from the squat chimneys, aerials and access hatches that are the only external evidence of the base. As the periscope tracks slowly back and forth, the wind whips the snow about wildly, obscuring the view of a blue police box materialising a short distance away. Within, the doctor and his young companions, Ben and Polly, are preparing to venture outside. Quite an Arctic storm blowing out there. Hmm. Come along, Polly, my child, and my cloak. Hey, Doctor, you've got the most fantastic wardrobe. Yes, well, I'm glad you approve, my child. It's gorgeous. Where do you shop? Carnaby Street? Where do you think you are? Did I look at a north or something? Oh, no, no, no. Ch -ch -ch -ch. Stop being so flippant. We don't know what we're in for outside there. Now, come along, come along, come along. Here you are, Doctor. <laughs> Are you sure you're going to be warm enough? Oh, like toast, my dear. Now, did you find everything you want? Yes, thanks. All right, well, let's go outside and investigate. Go along. Down below, the sergeant gazes through the periscope in disbelief. Hey, Tito, would you come over here? Oh, what is it? Come over here, quick! I can see people! Sure, sure. Lots of people. And there's a woman! A woman. A woman? Hey! Suddenly alert, Tito and several other guards jostle hey. around the sergeant, hey. all wanting to take a look for themselves. Mamma mia, bellissima! Looks, looks like some kind of a hut. Quick, take those small arms. Get upstairs and get, bring them down. Get moving. Three guards grab their weapons and scramble up a metal staircase to the surface hatch. Moments later, they have the doctor, Ben and Polly, surrounded. I think we better go with them. One of the guards just...